Actually, yeah, there's no doubt about it. The restaurant industry has been hit hard here in the state of Maryland. Take Pennsylvania Avenue here in Towson. There's more than seven different restaurants on this street. They're all battling for that carryout and delivery business uh, and feeling the pinch as they're all trying to come together to come up with some sort of solution. Well, the Towson Chamber of Commerce is hoping that the county executive's office will close streets like Pennsylvania Avenue here so that restaurants can bring tables and chairs outside and folks can have a nice meal under the stars. It's very, very difficult for our businesses in our community. Nancy Hafford, executive director of the Towson Chamber of Commerce, is on a mission to help Towson businesses navigate through these tough times. A lot of the businesses that are here have been here for many, many years and they put their life's blood into these businesses and it's very, very scary times for them. Restaurants around the country and world are doing unique things for diners. In Amsterdam, a restaurant is offering small glass cabins for outdoor seating. And in South Carolina, blow up dolls dressed up to look like customers to make the restaurant feel more full. Hafford is trying to keep things simple, though. She's been working with the Baltimore County Executive's Office to close a number of downtown streets so that restaurants can offer outdoor seating. Obviously, the sales aren't where we were and where we want them to be, but we're, we're, we're staying alive. Paul Rizos from Slice of Towson welcomes the idea and says it would be great to have table service again. We're all feeling it. We're all hurting, and uh, I think this would help all of us. Across the street at the Charles Village Pub, it's taken it one step further, creating a rooftop deck and extra patio space. We're a bit of the head of the curve because I had a feeling that outside was going to be where it was at. So we're fully prepared to um, take on this if that's what it is. The county executive's office told us through a statement, quote, the county is having ongoing and productive conversations on this issue and will continue working on the best ways to safely implement this model under a future state reopening phase. And the fear is that if uh, something can't be done here sooner than later, many of these businesses, unfortunately, will have to close. As far as what's open and what's not, what you can and can't do in each particular county, it gets very confusing. We've got some links on our website, WBALTV.com, and on our mobile app. We're live in Towson tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.